Hey students, your teacher has decided to do some live lessons via Canvas. So this video is going to show you how to join a live lesson and all the things you'll be able to do inside of that live lesson. So first off, you just go to your Canvas course like normal. Here's the home page and probably you'll get some information about join a live lesson using the conferences link. So over on the left, if you're going to a live lesson, you're going to click conferences. The live lesson should be right there. It probably will say in progress. If it doesn't say in progress, it just means it hasn't started yet. So have some patience. Um, you might need to refresh your screen a couple of times before the in progress comes on. Now, one thing to note, it doesn't look like you can click anything, right? Nothing is clickable. So this is the downside of conferences. You're gonna to have to remember this. As you come over here and hover your mouse, notice the join button pops up. I'm not really sure why it's hidden. I'm not really sure why it disappears, but there it is. So you'll have to remember this step because otherwise you're like, how in the world do I get into this? So again, hover your mouse over in the corner, the join button comes up, click join, and you will be able to see the conference. First thing it's going to do is ask you, do you want to join the conference with your microphone? Do you want to be able to talk or do you just want to listen? You can decide whichever one. I'm going to go ahead and click listen only. If you do the microphone, it's going to give you a little test to take for your microphone just to make sure it's working. All right, so now I am in the conference. Looks like the teacher's got a blank whiteboard. Um, there might be a message here. They might have like a Google Slides or something here. But let's kind of do a quick tour over here. Public chat is open. I can close that by clicking here and then open it or close it some more, sorry, so that all that is gone. Or I can come back over here and open it. So I can kind of control what my screen looks like. Do you see that? I can open it. If I have a question for my teacher, I can simply type in my question, hit enter, or I can hit this little blue button and it sends it. And then the teacher will probably respond. So I'll go ahead and respond to you. There you go. And you can see what that looks like. Remember, public chats are that public. Your teacher is going to clearly see your name attached to your comments. So just make sure you, you stay relevant to the topic at hand. And of course, you're always uh, appropriate. All right. So that's kind of how the public chat works. Shared notes. Let's click on this. The teacher can shut this, set this up to be collaborative notes. So as you are typing, Maybe somebody else, let me go ahead and type as somebody else. Give it a second to load. So as you are typing, someone else is typing and you can see that, okay? Because I just used a different computer to type that. All right, the teacher also might lock it down so that it is your personal notes and only you can see them. So you'll just need to listen to your teacher how they've set up the notes, okay? The other thing your teacher can do is mute you so that even if you joined with your microphone, you won't be able to talk out loud until a certain point in the lesson, okay? So you'll know if you're muted, um, there'll be a little icon right here. It's probably red with a little slash through it. So that means you, you can't just talk into your microphone. So if you have a question, you'll want to use the, the chat feature to ask your question. All right, also the teacher has access to this whiteboard, right? And some tools for the whiteboard. So let me just draw a little bit here. Okay, and the teacher can also make that whiteboard collaborative. So the second she did that, notice, this student, Arthur, can now also draw. We can change our color. And we also have the ability to get rid of what we've drawn. Notice we can't get rid of the teachers or any other students. We can only get rid of ours. We can change the size of our brush. Um, we can change to a text feature, um, different shapes. So we've got lots of options. Again, we can delete and undo just our work, not other students. And then the teacher can turn that feature off. And now notice my tools have disappeared. So your teacher might ask you to do that. If your teacher allows you to show your webcam, you'd be able to share your webcam down here. 
And then finally, a teacher can put students into something called um, breakout groups or breakout rooms where you can then be in a room with other students and collaborate. You'll, if you're in a breakout room, you'll be able to use your webcam, your microphone, the shared notes in the breakout room will be collaborative, meaning you all contribute and you'll be able to talk and see, to, see each other. Um, Breakout rooms are great for collaboration, discussions, working out a problem, um, discussing maybe some brainstorming for a project. And your teacher will be able to set that up, either um, put you in a breakout room or let you choose which breakout room to go into. So that's basically how to use the live lessons. When a live lesson closes, when the teacher ends it, it will look like this. You will get kicked out and you'll no longer have access. If you want to give your teacher some feedback, go for it. Otherwise, you just click OK and you're going to come back here to your course. If for some reason you can't attend the live lesson, um, for a million reasons, you just weren't available at that time to join, that's OK. Hit your conferences link and you should see the live lesson most likely has a recording. And so you can click that and you can click the recording and just watch the live lesson. You won't be able to ask questions, but you still will get all of the information. Okay, so that's an option as well. All right, so I hope you enjoy using the conference tool inside of Canvas to get live lessons from your teacher.